People, 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 welcome back to another ESL podcast. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. Guys, thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm very, very uh, grateful, as always. And today, it's about giving and, of course, receiving directions. Guys, I don't know about you, but this has to be the most pivotal part of your travels. And, of course, in terms of developing your confidence. That's right. If you can give thorough instructions to somebody, oh yeah. You know how much your confidence will go up? Let me give you an example. Now, the first example, (sighs) I was sitting on a beach. You know, I had my friend Mook, who should be coming on to my podcast soon, had her on my left. I had another guy from North Carolina on my right. We were looking off into the sunset, and these two guys were in the water singing Backstreet Boys. And I said, are they singing Backstreet Boys? She said, yes. I said, what? She said, yes. I said, what? And they came up, and we started talking, and this other guy came. He was from Santiago, Chile. And he came up, and he started speaking Spanish to someone. And then I realized the guy from North Carolina I came with, who was only the age of 20, he spoke fluent Spanish. And he was saying, derecha, turn right, turn left, uh, la derecha. Oh, I don't know the words. Guys, I don't know the words for my people in Spain. Please help me because I know y'all love me. (laughs) Anyways, I couldn't believe it. And I said, what? How did you? I didn't know you could speak Spanish. What were you saying? He was like, you know what? I learned Spanish because I went to Argentina. And when I went there, I didn't know any Spanish. So I had to learn literally by doing. By literally living in a country. I had to take in all the Spanish I could. And he said, I learned by trial and error. Which brings me to the next story. There are, of course, several students that I teach. Big Bacon Execs, shout out to you guys. And you know what? It was one time, after teaching, of course, directions, one of my students was approached by a tourist. And the tourist, he started speaking to the guy's wife, and the wife was like, she shrugged him on the shoulder, she pulled the shirt, she said, help me, he's speaking something to me, I don't know what he's saying. And my student went up to him with all the confidence I instilled in him, and he said, can I help you? And the man said, I'm trying to get to uh, this place. And he said, okay, what you want to do, you want to walk straight. And when you get to the bank, the big banking sign over there, your location is opposite from that location on the other side of the street. And I said, oh, yeah, I've taught you. I've done my job. See, guys, given directions is very, uh, very, very critical. I don't care if it's in English, I don't care if it's in Spanish, I don't care if it's in the Georgian language. You gotta know. You just gotta know how to do it. So guys, let's go over a couple of things. First and foremost, the most obvious one that a lot of people get, I guess, uh, I wouldn't say get off contact with. But they, they don't understand much is near and next to. Guys, don't get bothered by this. This basically means the same thing. That's right. Near and next to. A lot of people would say, what? Well, near means this. Well, well, what about next to? Listen, it's the same thing. Okay? Toshiba is next to the dumpster. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. Guys, it's kind of like looking at a map, right? So if we look at one of the most prominent, um, let's look at one of the most prominent Buildings in all of the free world. The Statue of Liberty in America, New York. The Statue of Liberty is in the middle of the sea, or whatever you want to call that. I don't know. Uh, Another example, the Burj Khalifa is in the middle of Dubai, next to do-do-do-do, opposite of do-do-do-do. You see what I mean? Guys, it's all about... Going over the basics. Now, of course, on my blog, thearseniobuckshow.com, you can look at the vocabulary, which I am going to speak right now. So, if someone says, go go this way, that means go with them or continue this way. 
So if they say, uh, go that way, go this way, that way, that means they are pointing to the direction. That means they are not going to take you. See, now, when you go to Tokyo, they will take you because Japanese people are such wonderful people. Shout out to my Tokians out there. My Japanese, I think that's better. Yeah, anyway, shout out to my folks in Tokyo. I love you all. But in Japan, they say, oh, Arugurawara. And you know, I met, I have a Japanese student, and we laugh so much because I do it very well. But I, I can't speak Japanese very well, but I know the basics, right? Like, doko desu ka, you know, all this, uh, not nanji desu ka, all that desu ka, desu ka, desu ka, ah, wakarimasu, ah, wakarimasu ka, you know, all that, I know the basics, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Anyways, let's focus. In Japan, they take you. But if you go to, like, Morocco, they might not take you. Maybe they will, I don't know. If you go to Sudan, I don't know. If you go to Yemen, I don't know. Okay, now a lot of you are like, oh, now you're going crazy. Yemen, no, guys, just I'm telling you. If they say go that way, they mean go walk towards that way. Walk in that direction. If they say go this way, that means they are showing you at a very close range. Oh, you know what? You could go this way. When you get to the McDonald's sign, turn right. The location of the library will be on your right-hand side, next to the post office. Boom! Walk up, walk down. Guys, do not get thrown off by this. Walk up is almost an idiom. <sighs> Why? Because you cannot walk up into the sky. All right? Now, a lot of you get confused. A lot of you say, wait, what does that mean? Walk up the road. You can't walk up the road. The road isn't in the sky. I know. You just have to take us for our uh, our silliness in the English language. When I say walk up the street, that means walk up that way. That means go this way. Walk down is the opposite direction. Please remember this. When I say walk up and you look in the sky, smack yourself. You cannot do that. Walk down, you cannot go into the ground. <sighs> now, that was a very, very important task. Now... For the native English speakers who give suck, puck, bad, 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 oh, bad directions, shame on you guys. Because you're supposed to say walk up the street, walk down the street. If you just say walk up that way, that is completely incorrect, and you should have all English language removed from your brain. Okay, period. All right, so let's go into the next one. Oh, I'm so crazy today. Follow this street until you see a... Mm. Follow this street. That means keep going on this street. Follow this street. Keep going on this street. Go this way. And when you see the bar, you will see the bar. <laughs> right? It will be opposite. It will be next to. It will be in between. Huh? In between, it will be behind. Yeah, you see that? It will be in front of. Those are some things that you, or in vocabulary terms, you should remember. Go straight or keep going straight. If I'm walking in one direction and I feel that I am getting lost, and I say, excuse me, where is this place? They will say, oh, just continue on. Just keep going straight. Just keep walking straight. These are different variations of given directions. Keep them in mind. Turn left, turn right. Walk for about, now Thailand, they say leo qua, leo sai. In Spanish, they say something derecha. I kind of forgot. I'm sorry. In Japanese, I do not know. But you guys, I'm, I'm teaching English. So here we go. Turn left. Take a right, that means the same. Take a left, turn left. Take a right, turn right. Walk for about five minutes. Now, I don't trust people when they do this. I don't. Because if they say, oh, just walk for about another ten minutes. But what if I walk fast? And I walk past it because I get there in five minutes. See? Uh-uh, I don't like it. So what I would do, I would say, walk for about 10 meters, walk for about 50 meters. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, America. Walk for about 20 feet, 30 feet, 50 feet, 100 yards. I don't know. I don't do the metric system anymore. I'm on the rest of the world scale. So, meters, baby, meters. So, 
It will be on your left. It will be on your right. It's on Sukhumvit. So a lot of Thai people, oh my God, like I, oh my God, like I, oh my God, all you folks out there in Nakhon Patom and all those places, stop! Stop telling people locations in terms of streets. So many people say, oh, I live in Sukhumvit Soy 7. I don't know where the hell that is. To, to be honest with you, I mean, there are Sukhumvits everywhere. A lot of people would say, no, there's not. Yes, there is. There are Soy 7s. So, Soy means street, and of course, 7, that means jet, of course, in the number in Spanish. I don't know where that is. You have to give me the SkyTrain station, okay? So, that's another way. Give me a, a monument. Give, give me a, a landmark. So... In Thailand, this is for you guys, okay? Now, I mean, okay, uh, New York is crazy, right? So for you folks listening to me in Brooklyn, you guys are crazy. Because if someone says, yeah, I live on North 37th and 362nd Street, what the hell? Oh my god. People, their their heads would just spin backwards and just just completely pop off. There has to be an easy, easier way. So if you're in Thailand, I say... Stop giving me these streets. What BTS? What station you live at? Oh, I live at this station. Thank you very much. Now, what's the landmark? What do you live by? Oh, well, I live on that street next to the pink building next to the three dogs. I swear that's what they say. I say, you know what? Goodbye. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you're crazy. I say, you're crazy. All right? It's ridiculous. Now, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait just a damn minute now, Okay. I had a conversation with some wonderful human beings known as my students the other night. <sighs> and you know what? While I was having this conversation, they were like, oh, yeah. You know, I we live on that street over there. And I'm like, what's that street's name? They said, there's not a name. I said, there's no name for the street. They said, there's no name. I said, are you serious? They said, we are very serious. I said, so if someone comes to your house, what do you say? We tell them to turn at the second 7-Eleven and go between the two buildings that have two dumpsters in front of them to continue on and you'll see a black cat hopefully sitting on the road that will hopefully take you to our place. If you cannot get there, ask someone. Oh, do the people speak English there? No. Okay, I'll get lost and then I'll go home and I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> so anyways, guys, what I'm saying is some countries, um, they don't have street names. They don't have anything, okay? Um, some countries do, like in uh, Las Vegas. Hey, I live, I'm on the corner of this, what is it? The northwest corner of Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard. I know on that corner is the New York, New York Casino. And I know if you're standing there and you take a picture or something, boom, I already know where you are. I know your exact location. Now, in Thailand, they would send a map. <laughs> And so when they send the map, you just have to pray to the gods that the map is correct. Because if the map is not correct, you are screwed. But you know what? I think Japan and Korea, you guys have the same problem, huh? My Koreans out there, y'all listening to me. I love y'all. I love my Japanese. But boy, y'all got y'all got issues too because y'all don't have anything in English. The, the Olympics are going to Japan very, very soon. So I suggest all of you Japanese students or Japanese people who listen to my podcast, this is the most important blog and the most important podcast of all the free world because you will need to learn this. Guys, let's go over the vocab again. Go this way. Walk up the street. Make a right at the stoplight. Your location is on the right-hand side. Those are examples. Walk down this street. Follow this street until you see a Burger King. You could turn left. Your location, the post office, is opposite the McDonald's. Go straight, keep going straight. Go right, go to the end of the street on the corner. Turn left, take a right, walk for about 15 minutes or 15 meters. It will be on your left or right. It's on this street. It's on the corner of this street. Please. Please remember this for all of you around the world because this is vital. For those Americans who are listening to me and you guys want to learn it in Spanish, just pick this stuff up in Spanish. You know there's a lot of great Mexican folks that live in America 
that could teach you Spanish very easily. Practice Spanish with people who are Mexican or people who are of Latino descent. This will improve your language capabilities. And once you start learning, you can never stop learning. With that being said, guys, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. As always, this is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.